Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm gonna be doing a collection review of Tudor. It's the first time I've ever uh, entered their website. So I'm just gonna tell you what I think of uh, their new lineup and the website in general. Um, Tudors are great watches, right? I, I, you know, they're owned by Rolex, um, and the, the build, the, the build quality is just as good as Rolex. Uh, Minus the movement, and I can say you know they've come up with some really amazing dive watches with the Pelagos and their and the Black Bay, beautiful watches, right? They are and they're affordable, you know. Black Bay, all right, right off the market. Let's take a look at the Black Bay. <sighs> Not sure what the what the prices are for. For the Black Bay, but oh, thirty nine seventy. You know, right? That's just, just an honest piece. Thirty nine seventy. That's not right. That, that's a that's a fair price, brand new. Okay, I think you can. I think these can be had for about twenty two, twenty three hundred dollars U.S. on the secondary market. So it's not bad, right? These are these are great watches. Very nice, just up front. Thirty nine seventy. I very, I very much rather have this than an Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean, which they're charging upwards, I think, seven thousand or so, seven thousand plus. This is, uh, this is great, you know, very nice. I believe this comes in uh, other colors as well. You have a black bezel, you got a blue bezel, and now they've got a black bead dark. <laughs> Uh, not a fan of this one, the the heritage. It's not not what I like, but great watches, you know. You wanna you wanna dive watch Rolex quality at uh, with at affordable prices. Go for the Tudor Black Bay. Um, okay. It's got a little bit of red writing. All right, it's. Uh, it's trying to to harken back to the the red the red submariners a double red sea dweller kind of thing. All right, little bit. I won't say gimmicky, but I know what they're trying to do. Um, it's a nice watch, right? That's beautiful. Forty-eight twenty. I this one probably has a in-house movement, Tudor in-house movement. Now, okay, let's, since we're on Tudor, let's, let's talk about Tudor for a while. I think, how much was this one? 4820, right? The, the other one was, what was it? How much was the one before? 4820, and this one was uh, 3970. So you're paying about just a little under $1,000 for the in-house movement. Um, is it worth it? I guess that's that's a question. Oh, what this one is? Okay, wait. This one is also an in-house movement. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I did not know that. I I assumed all the I assumed the Black Bay. The Heritage Black Bay, okay, with in-house movement. Huh, so they, so does that mean the ETA movement Black Bays are all discontinued? So you can't buy, you can no longer buy a, a, a Black Bay with, with the ETA movement. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this, guys. All right, let's 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 you know let's settle. Let's let me process this for a bit. I thought, I thought that that the Black Bay only came in the only came in the ETA uh, ETA movement, and uh, if you wanted the in-house movement, you had to go for the Tudor Pelagos, or you or I guess you go for the new Black Bay Dark, and it's a Black Bay. Uh, left-handed, <clears throat> which is a little, little funny, I think. Um, 
I, I don't know, guys. I thought, wow, so now you don't even have the option of going for an ETA movement tutor. This is... This is not what I expected. I thought only... I knew the North Flag had a had an ETA movement, and I knew the Pelagos had an ETA... Uh, sorry, the North Flag had an in-house, and the Pelagos had an in-house. But it seems like now they, you don't even have a choice to get the ETA movement. Huh, okay, and then... Alright, I don't like, like this. I don't like this, right, because the... The DNA of Tudor and its and its heritage is that it these are well-made watches, right? They are the cases and uh, and the designs are all from Rolex, which houses and they use an ETA movement to power um, the watch, and and that made it affordable, right? However, right now, let's see how much does this new Pelagos cost? Titanium. But right now, if you want to buy the, I guess the cheapest one was the was the, the Tudor Black Bay at thirty nine seventy. It's not cheap, right? At thirty nine seventy US dollars. Let's say you factor in tax. <coughs> let's say you know that'd be a forty two hundred, forty three hundred US dollars. You could get a, you know, <laughs> you could get a second hand Submariner, right? That pre ceramic. One six six one zero, or you get a no date sub, two liner forty three forty four hundred, forty seven seventy, or you could get a you could easily get a a complete Submariner, right boxes papers on the second hand market, or would you buy a brand new Tudor Pelagos? Right, so these are the questions you gotta ask yourself, and I'd very much rather have the Submariner. I know the Tudor now has an in-house movement, but Tudor will always be second to Rolex. It, that's just how it is, right? Um, I can't... I, I, I don't know what's, what's happening here. I guess, I guess Tudor is uh, competing with Omega, right? And I would very much rather have a Tudor than an Omega simply because, okay, it's cheaper and it's also just as good. Um, but then when you uh, compare the Tudor to the Rolex, of course you have to go with Rolex, right? I mean, Rolex secondhand, you know? 4770, that's a lot of money for a, for a Tudor. See if they. Now it looks like Tudor is kind of competing, you know, competing with even Rolex in a sense, right? Um, you could, I believe you could get an Oyster Perpetual from Rolex at around that price as well. I, I'm not too sure about the, about the pricing, but you could get a Rolex uh, instead of a Tudor. <sighs> I, I don't know how I feel about this. I, I'm a little bit thrown off. I just, I always always assume right. Tudor all had in, all had the ETA movements, and uh, one or two models had the had the in-house movement. But it seems like all of them now have the all of them now have the in-house movement. Okay, oh, this is this is very ugly. I'm pretty sure this is an ETA movement. Okay. Uh, champagne da. Oh, guys, this is pretty ugly. Mm hmm. Dial featuring winding crown. Movement. Tudor caliber 2824. Does that mean that's the ETA 2824? I think so. Yeah, probably. Ah, no. You go for a Tudor, it has to be a dive watch. And OK. 
Okay, where are the chronographs? Where are the two chronographs? Hmm? That's weird. Okay, there's the Black Bay Bronze. Very big watch, 44, I believe. 43 millimeter, 4320, $4,320 in house, in house movement. Okay, it's alright. Not for me, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to, what to make a tutor. I want to, you know. I guess it doesn't, it, it wants to get away from the from a stigma of being a, a poor man's Rolex. But if you look at a tutor, right, if you're, um, if you're into their vintage watches, right, the, the vintage tutors, they are very expensive. You got a tutor big block, you got a tutor snowflake, uh, you have the tutor, uh, those vintage tutor submariners. And um, they have like the big rows, the you know the Monte Carlo. Uh, I don't know where are the chronographs. The chronographs, I'm sure they are still ETA. Right, all Velju seven seven five zero. Okay, hello. Where is your where are your chronographs? Okay, Black Bay Bronze, Black Bay, Pelagos. Ah, okay, here we go. Tuna Chronographs. These are cool, right? If I were to pick one, I'd go for either the... I like this one. I like the grey as well, but let's see. Great watch. Very beautiful watch. Forty-seven seventy. That's not bad, right? I think, I think I'd very much rather get this one than the two eight nine two. Yeah, this is not in-house. Easy to service. Forty-two millimeter case. Beautiful. Beautiful chronograph. I think this is more. Um, this is a very Tudor watch, right? I, I think to me Tudor has to be an ETA movement. It has to be very uh, uh, affordable to service and to maintain and to use. That's what that's what Tudor is. That is that is their DNA, right? They're they're um, very very easy to service, very functional, very fashionable, and they are affordable. And nothing wrong with that. Hey, why? Why do you want to pay extra for a, for in-house movement, right? If you're gonna go in-house movement with Tudor, get a Rolex, right? If that's what you want, you know. If if, if what you're looking for is an in-house movement uh, with the aesthetics uh, built quality of a Tudor, that's Rolex right there, right? Tudor shouldn't be using in-house movements. It just tells me that they're kind of like leaving. A lot of, uh, I guess nobody wants to sell watches to poor people, right? Who cannot afford them. But, but that's, that's pretty sad though, you know? I, I think 4770, yeah, you know, that, that's, a, that's a fair price, right? Brand new for, for a great watch, which uh, a lot of history, Monte Carlo, beautiful watch. I love these the most, right? The Black Bay ETA, right? If you're into Tudor, you, you, well, obviously you can't get the, the Black Bay ETA anymore, but get, you know, you want to get that one on the secondary market. And if you really want a brand new Tudor, get the Monte Carlo. Advisor is cool too, alarm watch. Um, not really for me, but I've had a Memovox E876 and <laughs> It's useful, actually, yeah, the, the alarm function is pretty useful. I've used it many times. 6580, okay. It's a great watch. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, I like this. 
fast okay this one i don't like fast rider chrono there's just too much uh, too much space over here i think it would have been better if they you know made like uh, a 12 hour indices and just shift the shield and the and the text a little bit lower there's just too much empty space right here like something is missing over there and yeah uh, not for me yeah, something like that, right? That's that's. If you want, to, I don't know why. Yeah, fast rider, fast rider, black shield. Yeah, get the get the black shield if if you're into this style. Yeah, it's cool. Black shield. Yeah, that's nice. Fifty three forty. Yeah, very modern. It's quite a beautiful watch, actually. I like this one. Very nice, very nice. Uh, okay, this one, uh, Grand Tour. Grand Tour, flyback chronograph, ooh. That's pretty cool. I wonder if this rotates. I don't know if the bezel rotates. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I forgot wristwatch chat. Rolex Explorer 2. And uh, movement, yeah, okay. Flyback function, bezel is fixed. Okay, fixed bezel. It's all right, flyback. It's okay. Mm, uh, I don't don't really need to announce that it's a flyback. I think. Right, I mean, who who's gonna really know? Right, there's a flyback. The only person who needs to know there's a flyback is the owner, and uh, and I'm sure the owner would know. You don't need to announce to everyone that it's a flyback. The flyback is cool, but uh, you know, as long as you know it's fine, you don't need to announce it on the dial. Okay, so uh, okay, Tudor Classic. Uh, okay, I guess it's a day date. No, nah, not a fan. Not a fan at all. So Tudor, right? The ones to get. Tudor Black Bay Shield. Sorry, Tudor Black Shield is cool. Right? Very nice watch. You want something modern. You want a black watch. Chronograph. Very, very beautiful watch. Whoa, ceramic case. Ooh, that is something new. 5340 now. That is actually pretty cool. A ceramic case. Mmm. If you're into your ceramics, right? That's, that's actually very nice. Very modern. Something new. Definitely, you know, sets it apart from Rolex. Right? Rolex only uses ceramic bezels. They've never gone for an entire ceramic case. Um, yeah, that's cool. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. To the black shoe. Really nice. I probably go for the red. Looks nice, but I just go for the simple black, right? Because I think the red can be a little bit too. Might be a little bit hard to match. You can pull it off great, uh, but if it's your only watch, probably not. I mean, you wouldn't go to formal functions with this. Whereas, yeah, you know, you could pull this out. It looks a little dressy. Yeah, okay, anyway. Oh, this is a great Monte Carlo, right? Alright guys, so that's my review of Tudor. Um, not very happy with the direction they're taking with their dive watches. They have all gone in-house, which kind of which kind of goes against um, the whole the whole Tudor DNA. That's not what Tudor is. Uh, they are ETA movements housed in a Rolex case and now it's you know it's it's not are you gonna go in-house you're looking for an in-house diver with the Rolex quality well let's go for a Rolex Submariner um, so if you're looking for for a new tutor go for the chronograph either the Monte Carlo or the Black Bay Shield they're really really interesting watches anyway that's uh, my review thank you for watching